No one has ever taught us what comes in the middle from one to two. They just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But what is the story in the middle before two, before three? That is the dancing. That is the style in the middle of all of that. Okay, everybody stop. Okay, this is what I want to see happen. As simple as possible, as lazy as possible. Yes, even more relaxed. Even more relaxed. Even more relaxed. Exactly. So, now count. But when you stop counting, you lost it. Count. Exactly. So use more of your square. You have front, back, side to side. You have angles. Mm -hmm. Use more of your square. Same thing. Listen to the beat. So when this happens, what do you do? What happens? This. <laughs> good. All right. That's a good. That's a good start. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So now when I think of the square, if I understand that count and that rhythm, five, six, seven, eight. Now I can move it. So you can't just feel without the consciousness. The consciousness is the square. Don't try to dance. Just try to make it as dull as possible and the dancing will happen. So don't try to dance. First try to get the, just the simple steps and the angles. Yes, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I don't want you to dance yet. The reason why is because uh, if you feel so much, you can miss what it's about because you feel everything. But the feeling is, a, is the engine to, so you can connect everything and make it a dance power to style, you know? It's the feeling. But you can't feel without the consciousness of what you're doing. So you gotta learn these, to be comfortable in these basics. And then when you start dancing, you understand the basics to the point, now you can dance. Don't dance first, dance after you understand. Because that is what's gonna save you in a competition, in a battle, when you blank out. When you lose focus of everything and the lights get you, you have your grid, your floor. And the only way to exercise this is, when you're under pressure, you gotta learn how to calm down and don't let everything get you, you know? So you gotta calm down to the point where you gotta find that, that love with the music that starts to rise with the sound. You know, like the sound goes like this, and then it takes off. And that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to come in, not all like super, super amp, because we don't wanna beat the song up. We wanna enjoy, like we wanna put on that show, like, oh shit, I'm here can't believe I'm here, you know? And then you start rising with the song. And the song will automatically take you. It's, it's, it's there to just help you. And it's, it's your, your source, you know? So let me see you do it again. But I want you to lose, use as less energy as possible. I don't want you to even sweat. I don't want you to step hard. I want you to feel what it feels like to really consume that beat with your focus. And if your body dis is a disagree, it's okay. Yeah, you'll feel like there's a, there's a hula hoop. Like a hula hoop under you, right? So if you bend your knees, put your hands back, and you feel like the hula hoop leans forward. If you put your hands forward and lean back, then you feel like this hula hoop is off a little bit. You guys feel it? Keep your feet flat, flat feet. So you can feel that lean. Feel that? That is called the circle. The circle, right? And why the circle is so important, if I squat in a box, my body already hits all four positions like this, right? 
because I'm using the circle. But what's really unique about the circle is you will never get stuck at anything that you do if you apply this circle left or right, right? So even if my feet got tangled, when I make a circle, it makes a way, of, it already makes the escape for you. How do I put this? Inside your body, inside your heart, your soul, where you're going, what you wanna do. There's a, there's an infinite world of possibility. We've all been given a talent, creativity. You can create when you learn the information to create, right? The most important part is to show yourself. Everybody goes through something. We go through something with other dancers. They tell you you're not good, they tell you you're whack. But the most important thing is that you have a world inside of yourself. I don't know if you guys are old enough to go somewhere and uh, you dance on a level where you're just so free and you're just doing whatever you want and it just go comes all night without, you don't get tired, you don't think, oh my clothes are not matching. You don't even think about it. It's a world of you. So what I want you to uh, get, get into understanding is opening your world and inviting people inside your world because that is gonna make both of you guys get better in the moment. So if I dance like this and I close myself off, I close my world and now you guys are looking at me like, oh, he's, he's dope, but yeah, like he ain't letting us in. He's keeping it for himself, like, you know? So I want you to understand what it means to get out in front of everybody and show yourself. So when you understand it, you understand when you see somebody really good, they, they reach that level of like, they kind of broke through all the politics, all the rules, all the, they kind of just made a breakthrough and they kind of went away from everything a little bit. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like we've been taught to blaze out, yeah, you know? But then it's like, why are people saying we can't dance? Why when people say, yo, B-boys can't get on stage with trained dancers? Like, what are you trying to say, you know? And, and that part to me is personal because I'm like, yo, fuck, you know, we can't dance. We have to learn what it is and, and why it's so important. So that's why I go back in and I relearn, reteach myself, and I go back in and I rethink things because I'm like, yo, when I watch the videos of myself dancing, I'm like, yo, what was I thinking? I look like I'm at a football competition or something like, you know, like I'm at a, uh, I'm at a wrestling event, you know, like I'm just ready to fight and yeah, you know, and I'm ready to push people down and, and I'm just like, yo, what, what's the deal? We're, we're not dancers yet. We have to learn what it is to be yourself, mm -hmm. you know? Wicked actually asked me yesterday, he said, yo, Sean, who do you look up to? I said, yo, man, funny that you said that. Uh, I don't look up to nobody anymore. I found myself, you know? Mm -hmm. And I stopped looking up to people because they let me down. Like, I, I thought as a kid growing up, when I see somebody famous, like, they're gonna help me become famous, you know? But really, it's a struggle it's their own struggle within itself. So basically what I'm trying to say is you can look up to people for inspiration, but please find yourself because you're that missing piece when they're gone. You are the one who is supposed to take it and, and, and do good with it. And don't fall into the deception and all the traps of me, 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 because you don't exist by yourself. We work off each other. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what make people the strongest in the universe when they work together. When they separate themselves, then people take our shit from us. They, they, you got biters, you know, it's, everything connects. You know, you got DJs who don't know how to DJ. They use the, the machine and, so at the same time, all this stuff is intertwining. Hip hop, it's intertwining with rap. It's, it's all like, same shit happening, basically. So I'm trying to go back in this time in my career and correct the mistakes that I made in the past because I made a mistake. I wanted to push the limits. 
And I was doing air flare 90, boom, 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 and all this. And then cats would tell me, yo, nigga, you're a gymnast. And I couldn't understand. I was like, yo, but nobody can do what I can do. You know, like, why am I a gymnast, you know? So I had to step out, re-look at myself, and, and look at everybody, because that's where you get the answers from. That's how we all get inspired. We see, that's why I told you guys to stop and look at everybody. Because when you look at everybody, sometimes in your brain, we just got our own thinking. You can't comprehend everything. You only think the way you think. But by seeing everybody, you get that visual like, and that's how we should learn. When, if you can't count, when if I do this enough time, you will pick it up. You will see me and be like, oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you will learn by the pictures. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. Like the, the photos, the pictures, the moment, the, the stories, why, you know? Because it will help you. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you see people get down, and they want to fight with you and say whatever. And I'm just like, yo, bro, you don't get it. Like, it's okay. I, I will share it with you. Mm -hmm. I love you. You know, I care about you. I want to see you do something new. Everybody else does too. So that is the message, you know? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, you will never lose yourself if you know yourself. You only lose yourself when you decide to give it up. When you say, yo, the Korean B-boys are just the best. You already gave up right there. You said it, you know what I mean? You don't have any pride. You don't have any, you don't have any understanding of like, you are the missing piece, you know? When I go, if you're inspired by me, you take that inspiration, not saying that you have to copy my moves and you can recreate them. Your, my feeling with your feeling because that is the, the secret, you know? We, there's nobody who did it on their own and just got dope. They had to see people. Before the internet, they had to travel yeah. to these magical spots and just catch people mm -hmm. randomly and then get a little dose of what it is and go back and be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because that's how it was. So I'm not dissing the new guys. I'm not dissing anybody. I'm just saying that there's an easy way to learn this and we don't know how, you know? So I'm here with the information that I have to say like, okay, I finally figured something out, like, and my journey, I figured out myself, and I figured out how to do it easy. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to sweat, you mm -hmm. know? You can be dancing for five, six hours and not even break a sweat, but go home with the knowledge of mm -hmm. like, yo, yeah, <laughs> I get it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to share with you guys today. I know. I know I ain't doing it like I always do it, like show everybody some crazy stuff, but I feel like, yo, it's I done that. Important. I done that already. And then I saw them use it in the battle. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel like they understood it though.